Hello and welcome to the sandwich shop for this week. I'm joined by Ollie Savile. I'm Joel Hello. Lawrence. Jacob Dickens arrested at BlizzCon this year for trying to sneak in, kidnap the Hearthstone developers and spoil the new Hearthstone 45 pack. Yeah, he's not here. But he may escape. He may escape. By the end of the day. We're just not Who entirely knows? sure. We've we'd no idea where he is. He's somewhere in America. Last I heard, he was in a Camaro driving across Florida or something like that. Sure. Shotgun in hand. If you've ever seen the Stilo video from Gorillaz, it's that without the Bruce Willis. Couldn't afford to put him in this fake story, so. So video games. Video games. This week. This week. Speaking of BlizzCon, that's the big thing this weekend. Big thing. All the things. Things have happened. A lot of stuff has happened this week with BlizzCon, which is, should we just start with Overwatch? We'll start with Overwatch. <laughs> It's Draw. Justice ain't gonna dispense itself. Which is not free to play. It's Ollie's not free album. to play. It was. Well, we were never told it was going to be free to play. We all just kind of assumed it was going to be free to play. Yeah, we considering this kind of Team Fortress style thing, and thought. Yeah, uh, and then you know the beta's yeah. free. And everyone just kind of assumed that, oh, Blizzard are doing another free-to-play game, yep. like Hearthstone and Heroes of the Storm. And no, it's going to be full $60 on consoles as yeah, well. Full they console release. Full console release, but no cross-platform play between any of them. No. Well, I understood, like, PlayStation and Xbox. Yeah, but, but no crossover with PC, which they um, said PC players would have... The advantage. Unfair advantage. But it, that, that didn't stop Valve putting... CS Go players, uh, Counter Strike Go players against each other. No, but, but Blizzard are thinking differently. Blizzard are thinking differently, but you know it would have been cool to. Maybe maybe they're just saying that because they don't want to go to the effort to do yeah, it. Yeah, maybe. Like, I, I understand. It, Yo, it, video it's games. It's an easy are, excuse to make. Yeah, video games are hard to do. Maybe so. Just just make the PC players feel better about themselves <laughs> and stuff like that. But they did announce like four new characters or yeah. three or four new characters this time around. I cannot tell you off the top of my head because I didn't write the names down on this. <laughs> uh, but no, like I, I hadn't known that the characters were already given was not the final mm. lineup. Uh, so like yeah, I mean, do we know is this going to be the final lineup or is there still more to come? Well, the game doesn't come out till like next year. No. The beta is still, you know, people are still getting into the closed beta like very very slowly. Um, but the the more interesting thing about Overwatch is is like how do they support it after it comes out? Because it's a full retail release, and they're saying like, you know, there's not really too much like on the downloadable content front or anything like that. Yeah, I mean, is it just going to be supported like your typical yeah. multiplayer shooter? Or are we going to get map packs? Yeah, and like maybe new characters. And it, you know, with Activision in the background. I know Blizzard are very, you know, even though it's Activision Blizzard and stuff like that, and Activision are always there. It's like. Blizzard are very separate. They're their own thing. Yeah. They do what they want because they are Blizzard and it works. <laughs> um, but the thing is, is like, yeah, like, do they do the Team Fortress route? Which, before it went free to play, that was just supported freely. Like, hey, all this stuff is coming to you for free. You can buy some of these hats. But also, then we made it free. To, then they made it free to play, and they still update it for mm. free. Um, the thing, the thing is, Overwatch looks really cool. It's looking better yeah. and better every single time I see it. Um, but the thing, the thi yeah, like the question is like, what now? I could see us having to pay more for most of, of the yeah. update. I'm thinking we'll probably, or maybe get some new characters. Oh, yeah, that, probably that's, new maps. That's kind of like Blizzard's MO, isn't yeah. it? Like, hey, here's like the base game for so so price or free. Now you pay us more money <laughs> to get more stuff. You are nothing. We shall see, brother. 
At least we're um, not subscribing to it. That's, yeah, that, that's it's a bit like speaking of subscribers, like Blizzard are no longer, Activ Activision Blizzard are no longer like reporting on subscribers for World of Warcraft no. because they have plummeted considerably. Like I still think, hey, over 5 million unit users every month paying you a lot of money. Like that's, that's still pretty good. So what'd you, what'd you put that down to though? The drop? Did you put that down that's to competition? Cause, no. Because what competition is there really? There's, there's competition there. There's Elder Scrolls there, like, Online which didn't really that take, didn't take off. off. Final Fantasy XIV is doing all right. Yeah. But that's got like over a million subscribers or something like that. You know, there's the odd free to play game that crops up, but like MMOs, Aren't in the same place that they used to be. They're not the big. Yeah. They're not the big things. You know, there's never going to be that WoW killer because WoW killed off EverQuest, which was the original. <laughs> like, not the original, but like the one that was that. But no, I just think it's because yo, World Warcraft's been around for over ten years now. Yeah, people have seen it. Yeah, they're bored. They're and either how bored. How much more can they do? To, yeah. without just without releasing. I'm not going to say a sequel. Yeah, like, well, but, they, they had Titan, didn't they? Yeah. Uh, which was in development, which supposedly became Overwatch. Yeah. Um, but then the thing is, is like, World of Warcraft also has a um, new expansion coming out called Legion, which goes yeah. back to the Burning Crusade storyline along I mean, those like, lines. I, I couldn't tell you I, much about I watched the story. I watched the uh, nice, fancy CG this trailer. This is why we need Jacob here. This is, yeah, but, you know is currently murdering a resident Bl blizzard expert okay. is somewhere oh, hang on i'm getting <laughs> a feed through from jacob he says he's going to kill all the blizzcon attendees who won't give him the free stuff he's just demanding goodie bags is it, and he's gone he's gone he's gone jacob jacob is gone he's gone but no um world of warcraft legion comes out uh <laughs> Uh, the thing, the thing. The voice from Jacob. The voice of Jacob came through your earpiece from yep. the next room. Uh, the the thing, the thing about World of Warcraft at the minute is like, yo, the game came out in two thousand four. Yeah, it's done its job pretty it's fucking wild. well. It still continues to do its job. The only reason people are saying like, oh, it's in a bad position, is because it's the subscriber base has dropped considerably. It's had a longer life. Than in most any consoles, than any consoles, it, really. It's seen the PS2, it's seen, it's seen like mid, mid uh, two gens ago, the entirety of the 360 and PS3, yeah. and I would say half at this point of PS4 and Xbox One, Yeah. which is terrifying to think about. <laughs> um, and then also from BlizzCon, I've only picked like this stuff that interests us the most, yeah. because, and also, Hearthstone is getting a new expansion, also because Jacob is. isn't here to discuss this stuff. So uh, let's talk about Hearthstone. He's getting 45 new cards. Yes, it is. I won't pay for it. New cards are fun. Yeah. For people that play that game a lot. Yeah, Jacob. Probably. <laughs> Fool. <laughs> um, but Jacob is one of 40 million players. Yeah. Hearthstone has over has 40 million players. 40 million. That's fucking How nuts. many of those are Jacob's alternate accounts? That is also a question. Like, how many of those are alternate accounts of people, like, getting banned or, mm. you know... I don't think banned is the right word, but, like, how many... Yeah, it's, a free, it's a free game. Like, also mobile probably contributed to that. Yeah. And God knows where those numbers are coming from, but, you know... Is this how many currently playing or is this how many times it's been I, downloaded? I think or? that's just how many people have, like played Hearthstone like right. at the end of the day that's probably just like hey I mean it could be how many downloads but that could include people who have downloaded it played it once yeah. and never touched it again yeah exactly like that's probably where they're getting the numbers from it's like yeah. hey this account has Hearthstone on it and it's played at least a minute that's a user <laughs> um, yeah but like and then um, the Warcraft movie got it's yeah. Not, well, got it got the, the trailer. Well, yeah, the first trailer that was shown at Comic Con and then leaked out of Russia. Yeah. So we've already all this, seen it. This was my first time seeing this it. This is your first time seeing it. This is my third time seeing it. Okay. Because I saw it on a Periscope stream. Oh. And then also I saw the Russian leak, um, but that was in like a teeny tiny screen, like someone had literally ripped it from like <laughs> a hard drive somewhere. For 
years, our world has been at peace. But something is coming. I can feel it. Dark forces are upon us. Um, yo, that movie looks generic as fuck. But yeah, it, it looks... Visually, it looks nice. Yep, the orcs look good. It looks yeah. realistic it enough. It looks expensive. Yep. It looks like they've put a lot behind this. There's a lot of CGI. In, yeah, in terms of plot, I think generic is the right word. Yep. It does just look like, we're a big army of orcs. We're um, a big army of humans. And let's fight. But no, actually, let's work together and not fight or yep. fight some more. I don't know the Warcraft story. So I don't the, know I how think, accurate so this is. With yeah, it. so... Uh, so what I've heard about the Warcraft movie is this takes place like way before any of the stuff from World of Warcraft and okay. Warcraft in general. Uh, this is like setting up like the Horde and um, the Alliance and stuff like so that. So if we've never touched Warcraft in our lives, we should still understand this movie. Pretty much. Like they've deliberately done this for a reason. Yeah. It's because one, they want this movie to sell. They want mainstream success to aside the, from the video game. Yep. Exactly. Like... Let's make what like I, I I was hearing a couple stories here and there and I didn't see any evidence to support it but they changed the subtitle of the movie to the beginning yeah um, which well that well, that, that, that just think this yeah. is a series or they want this to be a series depending yeah, on success yeah but like um, I can't remember where I heard this now because I think I was watching something this morning while recovering um, tr you know still drunk at seven o'clock in the morning but you know um moving on from that but the, <laughs> I, the, the thing i heard was like you know it's not presumptuous to be like hey we, we're gonna make this uh, potentially make this a movie series but also if it fails it means it's just like the fans have a piece of law to attach themselves yeah. to that's also a big budget movie um yo well, also yeah. if it's coming before the games they could be thinking maybe this one Entice people to play the games as well. Yeah, like if they want to see the continuation of yeah, this story. Yeah, but do you want to go more... back and play Warcraft One? I certainly don't. I don't think a lot of people. <laughs> a lot of people look at Warcraft One and Two and go. I, I'm no. more more thinking. Oh, bringing like in more subscribers to World of Warcraft and stuff like yeah. Um, they also mentioned something about Warcraft Four and like RTS, new RTSs, and they said it's literally depends on the player base. Yeah basically like hey play the games and we might consider making a warcraft 4 yeah um nice to see like a warcraft 4 i know that um i think it's next week or the week just coming uh the last part of starcraft 2 finally releases oh, yeah. uh, legacy of the void um talking more of movies yeah we had a segue there mm, and we're gonna use it it's gonna ride on through on roach to the Witcher movie got announced, confirmed. Yeah, it's it's gonna happen. There's a Polish director attached. Yeah, but it it's not another one of those god awful Polish hexa movies. <laughs> or the awful T V show. I think the T V show was just the movie. Was, no, I, or the movie was, was just a TV, cut of the T V yeah. series put together. Um But let's not talk about that ever again. <laughs> it's terrible. Um so the the, the 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 witch movie got confirmed. Yeah, it's um, coming to us from the director that brought us The Mummy. And the studio that brought you Buffy the Vampire Slayer. So, uh, I, the let's mummy, be optimistic. <laughs> the Mummy was a good movie at the time. Which, and Buffy the Vampire Slayer had like nice like vampire designs yeah. and like good prosthetics. And they're also working with the team that did all the, the CGI. CGI trailers, which looked great i would ha i would have a movie of that yeah like give me a movie for the witcher 3 cgi yeah, just give us the game voice actors yep we know them as the characters give yep. us a cgi movie you are that's, never... prob that's probably not what we're gonna get no but it'd be nice like hey maybe we should consider casting the dude who who is voices Geralt. Uh, well, what, what does he look like i don't know no. what he looks like um uh, maybe it's the wrong choice yeah he might but be. i was talking to someone and they said um Oh God, who did this? I think, I can't remember who they said it was. I'll, I'll pop him on the screen. Uh, is a, an actor looks good for the role. <laughs> Believe it or that. Yes. Uh, that's coming out in 2017. This actor? This actor right here. 
Uh, looks, looks, looks good, possibly. possibly. I, might, I might even gr agree with this. I've got no clue who you're talking about. I'll put a piece of text up here that says if Ollie agreed or not. Yeah. Um, that's coming in 2017. Yeah. For the, uh, then and also, it's not based on the games. It's based, it's on, based on the books. Short stories, I think they said. Yeah, the it's based on two of the short stories from the first book. The Last Wish. Yeah, uh, one of which is The Witcher. Which, yep. Which is the one that's in the cutscene from the first game with the trigger. The trigger. And I can't. Re I read what the other one was, and I can't remember. We should have written that down. We should have written that down, but, but we, we didn't. didn't uh, because we might put that on the screen as well. We might put that on the screen as well. But, speaking of trailers that are soon to come... Were we speaking of trailers? We weren't speaking of trailers, but The Witcher 3... We're speaking the of Witcher. trailers now. Here's Spe another segue. Boom, look at this. I am not hungover at all. Uh, Mass Effect got a non-trailer. And know that wherever you go, we will be with you. This is Commander Shepard, signing off. Yeah, we got a slideshow. Of, and stock footage of yeah. NASA. We got a PowerPoint trailer. Yeah. Um, uh, the, the, so the Mass Effect's non-trailer had just had Shepard voicing yeah, yeah, over Yeah, that's an interesting point. We had a voiceover from Jennifer Hale, mm -hmm. who is female Shepard or Fem Shep. Fem Shep. As you might know. Um, you had a slight issue with this trailer in that uh, you, you didn't, you, they're moving away from the Shepard yeah. trilogy. So, so they ended the trailer with, this is Commander Shepard signing off. Yep. So that's, Obviously, their way of saying no more Shepard. Yeah. But they they've kept telling us that Shepard's not going to be in this game. Shepard's story is over. And so so why are you Shepard in the promotional yeah, material? Like, here's your first proper promotional material like since E3, and you're already having people going, "Well, is Shepard going to be back then?" Yeah. Like, and even though they've said like no, it's it's just it's just our way of saying goodbye. But you know, you said goodbye with that last dreadful ending. Yep. I enjoy Shepard's He's potentially buried. dead, Potent potentially alive, but buried, potentially um, a big space ghost thing. Yeah, and then Buzz Aldrin. How's he doing his voiceover? And then Buzz Aldrin. Gee, sorry, in this case. Yeah, and then Buzz Aldrin is, he, is there. He was also there. <laughs> he was also there for some reason. Um, and then, uh, not 2K. Bioware are owned by EA, but a competitor to EA is 2K, who have just shut down 2K China, which were currently making Borderlands Online, which was a multiplayer online version of Borderlands yeah. uh, for the Chinese region. Um, because it, obviously, like, so with China, there's a lot of there's a, a lot of uh, a lot of companies now are adapting games um, to release in China on PC. There'll usually be lesser quality and stuff like that. Yeah, but that's so like they can run on internet cafe can, can PCs. We get a Halo one there was a Halo one that was oh, for that, Russia. That was Russia, yeah. I think that might have launched in China as well. I can't remember. But like the last one I can think of, like from a big developer, like big publisher, or whatever, is uh, Call of Duty Online, which was oh, developed by okay, Raven yeah. Software. Um, they so uh, Borderlands Online was just another one of those for the Chinese region. It'd probably launch over here at some point. It's been cancelled. Uh, because 2K have deemed it not a favorable favorable investment or see any returns from it or anything like that. Okay. But like yes. the Chinese region is super interesting. So, yeah. Uh, Did, because they. I mean, has China had a release of the other Borderlands games? Well, consoles have just been unbanned there, so they've probably okay. just seen the handsome so, collection. Yeah. Um, they've probably seen it on PC at some point. Yeah. Um, China's weird. Still is weird. Will always be weird. Um, but um, yeah, when it comes to games, when it comes to games, we're not getting racist. Not getting racist. No, I wasn't getting racist. But you, you've taken you, it to that way. You called China weird. In a video game way. Yes. In a technical way. We need to specify that. Yes. I'm gonna sneak um, in one of my pigs. You're gonna eat one of your pigs. Nondescript, gelatin-free um, pig-shaped treats. Yeah, not from China, but the plastic probably was. Um, is the Nintendo PlayStation? 
which got found mm. a few months ago. Um, <laughs> did you ever? Did, did you? <laughs> fuck me, Percy Pig. We can't say that. Uh, with that. Percival Pig. Perry the Piglet. <laughs> um, did you ever hear about the Nintendo PlayStation? Yes. Yes. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to be professional here. <laughs> um, so the so for those that like don't know, like the, the Nintendo PlayStation was um, the original deal between uh, Sony and Nintendo. So Sony would develop a CD counterpart for the Super Nintendo, yeah, and that would release as an add-on to give the Super Nintendo more life and also then progress Nintendo into the CD era, like the, the you yeah. know the disc era. Um, that all fell through. Um, and this guy f- got one in an auction years ago for seventy-five dollars, and it still works as just a regular <sighs> Super Nintendo. Um, it's pretty cool to see it running like Street Fighter and Bomberman, yeah. and then also boot up into this weird disc menu. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, I, ju- I, I just threw that in there because I thought it looked cool. Yeah. Um, but you know what? It doesn't look cool. Black Ops 3, uh, uh, oh. Call of Duty Black Ops 3 on Xbox 360 and PS3. Oh. Uh, there's no campaign in it. It's only multiplayer. <laughs> <laughs> there's no pigs. And, <laughs> and there's, and it's got a graphical downgrade. I can't chew. <laughs> I'm going to keep going with this. Uh, so there's a graphical downgrade on the Black Ops 3 for Xbox 360 and PS3, which, ex- which was expected. Um, but the thing is, is that it's so, it's so downgraded, it's just a quick and dirty port. Um, and also the PC version is completely and utterly broken, apparently. <laughs> like, okay. it loads up. I'm dumb. It, it loads up the, yo, this is Treyarch and Activision. And here's a load of logos. And then it crashes. Oh. Or people can't get into games, or the campaign's not there. Um, yeah, so. It's a mess. Didn't, uh, didn't the last gen one, was that not getting a campaign? Yeah, so yeah. it's a 360 and PS3 edition, no campaign. They just couldn't do it because of memory limitations. Yeah. But the game but is. The PC version does have a campaign, just doesn't want you to play it. It's just broken in general. Yeah. Like the entire game. people are saying, like, yo, I can't play this. The frame rate is shit. There's a memory leak. Um, people are seeing like their CPUs go up to like 100% usage and stuff like that, which is bad. Um, but like, no, it looks horrific on last gen. Like, yeah. uh, VideoGamer.com have an excellent video of like the comparisons between Black Ops One and Black Ops Three, <laughs> and Black Ops One looks better. Um, eat a pussy pig. I'm gonna. I don't. I really don't like them. <laughs> We've got a voice on the air just telling us to do things. <laughs> I really don't like the janitor and stuff. Oh, this is fucking rank. How are you fucking eating? These? <laughs> oh. So it's so sweet. So, so, so Black Ops 1 mm. look, look, look better than Black Ops 3. It's horrific. Yeah. Activision. Activision have done just a dirty port on. And like uh, the PC version um, <laughs> also developed in house. So fuck knows what's going on. But Black Ops 3, so I got it over the weekend for review and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, it launched the game after its little update. You know how all video games now have to update as yeah. soon as you put them in? I did that, launched. I then had to wait another 15 minutes for it to download the campaign. Like the so game the campaign, boot- So the campaign isn't on the disc? The multiplayer also had to download. What is on the disc? Fuck knows what's on the disc. A menu. A menu. It, it literally you like- a menu. Literally. Here's some DLC. Yep. I went, I was like, right, I'll go, I guess I'll go put some socks on, put my socks on, like expecting it to be finished. Because it just said, oh, I'm installing. And it was like, mm. Also, like, none of you, ca- if you disconnect from the servers, 
like if there's no internet connection, it will re it, there's it's like two different progressions. So like I lost all my progression because I couldn't connect to the server to the campaign. Think about that for a second. <laughs> um, and then also uh, just like um, uh, 360 editions, Fallout 3, free on with Fallout 4 for the Xbox One. Yep, yeah, but only um, until February. Yep, of next year. Um, so buy it now. Buy it now. The code will be delivered in in a message. Doesn't even come in the box. Okay. Um, uh, but that's probably because November twelfth is when the three hundred and sixty backwards compatibility launches. Oh, okay. Um, on next next Xbox. And speaking of Xbox, Halo Five. It's apparently the largest Halo Five uh, Halo yeah. launch of all time. It's made a lot of money. It's four hundred million dollars. Is that money all from the game, or is that from the yeah. fools that you're out there and you're paying for the microtransactions and you're encouraging them and you need to stop? You tell Molly. Well, is it that? Uh, is, it, is it just the game, or, fuck, or is it, is it no. most people? Is it the people paying twenty well, pounds for Well, like, much like Activision and Blizzard, they're, they're, they're skewing all the numbers to make it look good. <laughs> fuck knows what any of it actually means. Fuck saying it's the largest Halo launch of all time because I swear Halo Four was also the largest Halo launch I'm of all sure time. Sure, every Halo launch has been the largest Halo oh, launch no, of wait. all time. Halo Four was the largest entertainment launch. Halo 3 was I'm the sure largest. Halo Wars launch. was probably the largest of some kind of Halo. It was probably the largest Halo RTS launch of all time. <laughs> the voice in my ear is telling me to tell you, listener, viewer, what I think. And I've already kind of just done that. Yep. I don't like microtransactions. Stop paying for them. Yeah, Jacob. Please, Jacob. <laughs> Um, and then, <laughs> and, and then the last story here is um, more Konami stuff. It seems like every week we bring up Konami in some way. What have they done wrong this time? Um, their LA studio, which developed the online portion of Metal Gear, on, uh, of Metal Gear Phantom Pain, um, has been shuttered. It's gone. It's, it's collapsed. It's, it's disappeared into the void. Uh, this is just adding more fuel to the fire of things that Konami are doing. Yeah. Um, this also comes at the same time that Konami are preparing to make a new Metal Gear Solid game. They are looking for developers. Hey, there was one right here <laughs> and you got rid of them. They probably would have obeyed you a little bit more. <laughs> they might have kept in a budget, you know, but Konami, just, just fucking up every single time. Look at you. You're a mess. <laughs> Go home. Sober up. Here's some coffee. Put it on. Go on. Drink it. And we'll wake you up when the pachinko industry has collapsed inwards. Because uh, I think it's SNK Playmore or Sega. I can't remember which one it is. They all blur into one at some point, these Japanese companies. Uh, they're leaving the pachinko business <laughs> while Konami are doubling down on it because they're seeing it's not profitable. I don't fucking know what's going on anymore. V video games and pachinko, video game companies are not video game companies. They're in Japan, the Konami, just, I want to go to one of your love hotels. I want Solid Snake to rub my back a little bit. <laughs> Should we wrap up? Let's wrap this Can thing up. please wrap up? Let's wrap this thing up before it gets weirder. That's all from the Sandwich Shop. That's all from Pixel Shed. That's all from Games Link. You can find us everywhere because I'm not going to link this stuff. See ya. Mom. That was weird. Oh, it was weird. Ugh. I can never eat Percy Pigs again.